you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Gwen! Well, the right thing must be so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trap up there. No way. We gotta go. Now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her. She started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. But then I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it, it was you. Fine, let's go save Gwen's damsel in distress. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I had in mind. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. should hold on to that. Keep them in handy. This is awesome! See the spark plug. The person inside these things to whose call you used a tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking.
Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Take a landscape sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But please just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Lynn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. So you have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're... We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and we're, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for you to pick up in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Hey. 
I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. How's your finger, Pretty? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. How you doing, Pretty? You know. Back to the motor. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not new. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, bad boy. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry we were here. But knowing you there to take care of you, that helps.
and that was perfect. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Especially a good friend. Thank you. 
I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. to do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, kid. You got it. How you doing, Carter? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Luke? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Connor. Super Dinosaur's toast! But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. 
I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Good. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? Do you like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We can stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs>